Hey, everybody. Hopefully you're having a good day, and hopefully you're staying about an arm's length away from other people. Uh, today, I want to show you a little bit about this program, Beepbox. Right? Now, this there's a lot that goes into it, and there's a lot that you can do with it. So I really actually enjoy it. I think it's a lot of fun. But I want to show you some of the basics with it. So the first thing you'll notice is it does not look like our normal music notation. And that's okay. So what you're going to do is first off to create any sound, all you have to do is put your mouse over it. You'll see this white box that's around your mouse and just click. And you got your first tone. If you don't want that there and you want to erase it, all you do is click again. Now to make your tone longer, you just click and drag it and you can make it as long as you want. Or if you want to make it shorter, you do the same thing. You click and drag and make it as short as you want. All right. Um, so right now you'll notice I can't put down a box in between the gray lines. That way it kind of just keeps you focused on some specific notes. Um, and for right now, that's what we're going to use. I'll show you in a second how to change that if you want to. Um, so this is my song right now. And all you have to do to play it is hit this play button right up here, or you can hit the space bar. And then you, once again, hit this again to stop, or you hit the space bar to stop. And then if you want to change it, you can click and drag and make the notes longer, shorter, whatever you want. And now I have my melody. And as you know, it kind of just repeats itself over and over. Alright, so what if I wanted to change it so that I can hit some of these notes that are in between? Well, that's not too hard to do. You just come over here where it says scale. And right now it's set to easy happy. Well, if you want, we can change it to easy sad to make it have a different tone. As you notice, some of my notes are now in between the boxes, or in between the uh, gray lines. So for that, it's actually pretty simple to fix. All you have to do is go back to this scale, and then all at the very end, it says snap notes to scale, and that'll change whatever melody you have, and make sure that it fits in the key that you're going for. And then we have some notes. Alright, right now we are starting on the note C. This really won't matter too much to you, at least for right now. Um, the only thing I would say is if you want to write something in this and then play it on your instrument, it might be a good idea to start in the key of B flat or what they call A sharp in this case. It's the same thing. It's a note. It's going to be a lot of your beginner notes that you know. Um, especially if you are set to easy habit. And let's see what we got now. So as you notice, it kind of changed the whole thing, made the whole thing move a little bit. Alright. Next thing I want to talk about is this spot right here, tempo. So this kind of just controls how fast or slow it's going. So if we move it up, it's really fast. If we move it all the way down, it's slow. And we were somewhere in the middle. If you're going for something kind of dancey, I would recommend trying it at 140. A lot of dance music tends to go at 140. That's just my little recommendation for you. All right. Right now, we are using a lot of eighth notes, right? So if you have it shorter, it's going to be what we call 16th notes. And then if you kind of drag it out to be one of these whole bars, that is going to be the equivalent of one beat. One last thing I want to show you is you see on the side how it has some letter names. That might not be the case when you first open the project. So all you have to do is hit preferences. 
And then down here where it says show piano keys, you can either click it off if you don't want it. Or for me, I like having it, I click it off. You can play around with these if you want. That is entirely up to you. But that is really something that you have to decide for yourself. All right. For today, that's all I'm really going to show you. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to go over... Not tomorrow. In the next video, we're going to go over how to uh, use different voices and layer a few different voices together. All right. Have a great rest of your day.